Hi, I'm Anders Olof Vendin from Ludvika, Sweden. I make music, and when I do, I call myself Money Brother. I've just been on a musical journey around the whole globe. To Chicago and Los Angeles in the United States, to Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, to Kingston in Jamaica, to London in the UK, to Auckland in New Zealand, and to Cape Town in South Africa. At all these places, I met local musicians and recorded with them what's going to be my next album. An album that will sound like the world. For my album, we first recorded the essentials in Chicago. We then hit the road and collected additional vocals, drums, and a lot of local flavors in Los Angeles, Rio de Janeiro, and Kingston. But if you're a European and it comes to proper rock and roll music, there is no way you get around London. The variety of artists here is unique in the world, just like the voice of Cornelia. So Cornelia is from Sweden, lives in London, she got a cool voice and I needed on a specific line on the song in the night time, I needed a harmony. But it added a lot of flavor to, to, to that song and I'm thankful. In the night time, that's the right time. In the night time, Do you guys have a um, stand for this by any chance? You can backlight it. Um, yeah. You can backlight it on that one? Yeah! That's fucking fantastic. Yeah. They can't do that, that in the LA studio, can yeah. they? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Well, in the LA studio, you can actually get it to burn in the edges, <laughs> just like a, a slow burning fire. <laughs> oh, shit, yeah. The guys in LA actually wrote this lyric, too, you know? It's oh, just really? Like, we don't want no point for that, we just do it. And it was just, it's perfect, <laughs> the lyrics. God damn, like, yeah, I've never seen definitely. this before. Let you get this, like. Benjamino? <laughs> this is London Studio in full effect. <laughs> no pressure, just do a thing. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm telling you it's going to be really fucking embarrassing. 45 minutes of the movie is just her trying to get that second <laughs> chorus. <laughs> I think his music is uh, very international. It, it reaches out to all sorts of scenes, so, because there's, there's good songs, and then there's a proper sound to it. And I think that's what you need when you, when you want to do something. You, you need to decide what way to take, and I think that he did that pretty early on, actually. For my album, I now collected lots of vocals and drums. But what I was still totally missing on it were horns. 
Then I remembered that somebody once told me that if you want to get good horn players, you need to go to New Zealand. And since I always wanted to go there anyway, there were more than enough reasons to take my bag and my guitar and get on the plane to the other side of the world. As we arrived in Auckland, I was quite jet-lagged. Luckily, the studio session with the horn player from Auckland was scheduled for the next day, so Jane, a friend of mine who lives there, supplied us with a nice breakfast stop and a little tour around town. And as we passed by a local tattoo parlor, I just couldn't resist. They sent all the crazy and dangerous people to Australia, and the, the guys who were too crazy for Australia to send down here. That's pretty much it, no? Like a guy with a guitar. What's this from? It's a lot of records. Yeah, thanks, right? It's not super nice. Yeah, sure? Yeah, I'll be fine. Do you have a girlfriend or are you married? <laughs> no, you're interested? Uh, no, no, I don't. I, um... No lady for, waiting for you back home? No, I had one leaving for this trip, but uh, she uh, actually called and broke up at the airport. While you, while you were, like, uh... Yeah, I was just, you know, ready to get on the plane. She figured that was a good time, I guess. Man, uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it actually does suck. Well, um, who knows, you might meet yourself a, a nice uh, Kiwi girl while you're here. Yeah, I'd sure hope so. Uh, that's why getting tattoos and all that, you know, fixed up. <laughs> I look sharp for the ladies here. Stretch it out a little bit, yeah, just a little bit. Otherwise, it's perfect. You're gonna have to work out, man. Those yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's all on me. Pleasure. Great, pleasure, man. Uh, Thanks, Can I, uh, you do Visa cards, right? No, man. Cash? Cash only. Oh, really? Is so, it uh, that's the problem. See you later. So. We're here in uh, Auckland, New Zealand, and today we're gonna record some horns. We got four or five songs that uh, needs a little bit of trumpet and saxophone, and um, apparently this guy's gonna be real good. Hello, morning, morning for Red Bull Studio. What's cool with horns? Hey, I'm Ambesh. Lewis. I'm the singer. Oh, man. Yeah. This is Krilla. Hi. 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 Nice to meet you. Oh. Cool. Oh, it's a good song, you know. Uh, so you can think of that maybe. There's no horns in it, but you know, think of that maybe when you when you play it. It's gonna be. It wanna make you dance like that. Let's double it to make oh, jealousy. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Who's gonna get the best of me? Do, 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 do. Oh, jealousy. Do, do hold that last note. Do, 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 do. Although Lewis was a bit of a shy guy, he supplied us with really good horn parts for Jealousy and a couple of other songs. We got four days in a country that I've never seen before, and I've always been wanting to go there. I'm not gonna watch TV in the hotel room tonight. So what we're doing now, we're taking the car, we're going up north to a small village we heard of called Lee. And I am driving on the left side of the road. Thank you. 
So we're at the Matikana guest house. We've been doing it. And somebody overheard our conversation, me talking about Sweden. They come up and say, oh, you're from Sweden? Yeah. So if you want to, we got a farm up here. You can come over and stay with us for free. You know, you bring beers and you stay there. So me and Jimmy are probably going to end up sleeping at this old couple up in the up in the mountains on some kind of an ecological farm. So we bought some beers and I brought the guitar. And uh, yeah, now we're coming. Rainbow Valley Farms. We found it. <coughs> it's beautiful though, you know, it uh, really gives you the impression there are not mass murders. No, I didn't. I didn't do that. I didn't fucking do that. Coming up on Money Brother Around the World. No, no, all of us. All of us. No, 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 no. Just you. I, I can't do it on my own. It's one of the biggest pleasures of my life. It's like, <laughs> like true life. So we're at the airport and I just left my guitar behind. This is the birthplace of humanity. There's a feeling in the heart here that you can't get anywhere else. 